this place is uh, fascinating. It has over a hundred years of architecture lined up here. My family owned quite a few properties on Lincoln Road, starting with the Lincoln Center on Euclid. They also owned what was known as the Sachs Building, which is a white marble building. And as a result, he got a contract to build the Albion Hotel on James Avenue and Lincoln Road. So Carl Fisher out of Indianapolis, right? He created the Indianapolis Raceway. Carl Fisher, the multi-millionaire, decided to develop Miami Beach. What we're standing on right now is his last road. A broad avenue that ran from the bay going east until it reached the Atlantic Ocean. His idea was to create an avenue equal to Fifth Avenue of New York or State Street in Chicago. He called his avenue Lincoln Road. And second in the United States. That's right, what you're saying, when you come to Lincoln Road, this is the second open air pedestrian mall in the United States. My name is Deborah Desolates. I'm the last architect to work with Morris Lapidus. As a child, uh, walking uh, through Lincoln Road and taking the tram and looking at, at all of these kind of far out structures. It's, it's a sense of history and the fact that what he did originally still correlates today. It still makes sense. The shop owners on Lincoln Road got together and asked Mr. Lapidus if he'd be willing to help them find a solution. It's very clear that Morris Lapidus understood shopping. He came back with a novel idea, a pedestrian mall. And as the years progressed, Lincoln Road went through many, many changes. And now Lincoln Road today has just changed tremendously for me. It's a party. I can remember Lincoln Road coming with my grandmother and we did not dress in bikinis and we didn't dress in shorts. We wore very fancy party luncheon dresses and I wore little white gloves and a hat. And it tends to always survive. Lincoln Road keeps kind of coming back. It's kind of like Rocky almost. And I believe the time to tell the story is now. People should know what they have here in, in Miami Beach.